Welcome. Hello. Thank you so much, beautiful souls, for tapping in, turning on, tuning in with I, Enchantress, the Babbler, on our evolutionary, revolutionary rise of a high that is happening at this motherfudging time. At this time, welcome. <clears throat> welcome to another kind of blind, blind read. And we we're going to see what messages what channelings want to come through and be articulated for the you that is the whom that taps in turned on tuned in welcome beautiful beautiful souls i am also enchantress e-n-c-h-a-n-t-r-e-s-s -S, on instagram you can go follow over there also subscribe for just 99 cents there is an exclusive platform that is always going to remain at 99 cents the 99 cents is just a token of appreciation of the <laughs> quantum mana exchange that you will receive in every single kind of way when you tap in turn on tune in um over there in that kind of dynamic way where there is loads of mana for you to infinitely tap in, turn on, tune into. There is hundreds of posts already infinitely growing too that are available for all of you who do tap in, turn on, tune in that way. Um, there are, everything is DIY strategy of evolution for us. Um, there is so much variety over there and exclusive content, including recipes, DIY strategy, like I said, exclusive videos, lives, um, motivation, inspiration, um, shares, intimate cares. You get to ask me, you get to ask the tarot, you get to ask the oracles too. Um, you get personalization one-on-one -on -one too and DM privilege as well. Um, there's just so much over there that you can grab and there's no um, personal information between you and I exchange that's done over there on Instagram. So that's between <laughs> you and Instagram. But either way, um, those that have jumped on have stayed and so that says a lot in every kind of way um so definitely check it out and you're free to cancel anytime but you know 99 cents is the token of exchange to get you in in that kind of way and go check out a whole other sacred quantum dope as fudge world that is sacred beyond <laughs> compare and um, you're really going to like it over there. So I would definitely go check that out. I am also Alchemistic Poetess on Instagram, right? Um, all right, I'm sorry. And so... Um, thank you. Okay, sorry about that. But yeah, so I feel kind of um, like dance like everyone else can go fuck themselves. <laughs> All right, so how do I, how am I going to do this? Okay, is it going to be like this? I didn't even test this aspect out, but like dance like everyone else can go fuck themselves. So yeah, so that's kind of like the vibe I'm feeling at this time. And I it's making me giggle sublime, right? Because poetry be our our explosion, right? I love poetry. If you are tapped in, turned on, tuned into me, you love poetry. And if you don't love poetry, you 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 are starting to have a new appreciation for the artistry of poetry and how it can speak to you, mind, body, heart, and soul in every kind of electromagnetic, mm, stimulating way that is like. <laughs> we get excited in that kind of way right because we're going to be spiritual as fudge in these kind of ways right we cut ourselves off from joy 
far too often because we be worrying about what other people will think of us like fudge that fudge that what do they think of themselves you know what i'm saying so take a moment today to look around and suddenly tell everyone to go fuck themselves right and then dance i'm um, definitely tap in turn on tune in with me with all my dancing videos free may my free invigorate your free it took a very long time for me to get to that point of expression where i'm like you know what go fudge yourself right because you know people will try to downplay and try to eradicate your powerful energy in every kind of way by making you feel insignificant making you feel some type of way so now with this freedom now with this knowledge now when you know better you do better right you move better for yourself and when you eradicate these kind of energies that will try to just suffocate you hold you back or try to play you out from your system like your planetary system like you're not doing that anymore now you're just like you know what who is you you tell me right there are people who dislike you because you don't dislike yourself what 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 why 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 right this is true and the biggest revenge we can have on people who judge us is to love ourselves harder and for real, for real, right? That's the way. Some people are going to talk shit about you simply because you are shining bright as fudge. So keep shining on. That's right. That's right. Keep shining on. That is right. Like, how dare you come into my planetary electromagnetic system and try to tell me differently or try to make me feel some type of way about myself? Now I know because when you know better, you do better, right? This is the mentality. This is the intelligence. This is the part of the computation that you can bring into the transmutation so that you can have this major transformation, right? It's one thing to to learn stuff, to you know. It's one thing to to right, um, pick up like our knowledge and stuff like that. Read a fucking book, okay? okay, great. Now apply the fucking book, right? So it's like, when you know better, you do better. And I know that you're projecting onto me and how you really feel about yourself inside is how you trying to blow me outside of mine. So mm -mm, not at this time, my intelligence is letting my consciousness know in deep down into my subconscious, listen, this is a trigger to heal the aspects of myself that needed this freaking regeneration, right? This recalibration, this transmutation for this transformation, right? Because I'm going to lead my own nations unitedly, right? Cosmic B. And I'm not accepting any other substitutions. You hear me, B? <laughs> right? Beautiful things. Beautiful things. Beautiful things happen when you distance yourself from negative shit. What? I cannot. I cannot, right? So what's the first thing you thought of when you read negative shit? Right? Like, that list gets shorter. That list gets shorter. When you start seeing things for as they are, what they are, and it is what it is, and it's just like you're not personalizing that shit anymore, the list gets shorter, I don't even see that. You got to meet me on my vibration. And then you can talk to me about it from my vibration. Because our vibration, when you meet me there, is going to be a solution-based system, not a negative-based system. I don't even live there. I don't even know that galaxy anymore. I, I've tra I traveled out, tapped out, transmuted, transformed, healed. Right? So write that shit down. So it says, what's the first thing you thought of when you run negative shit? Write that shit down. And take some space from it for a week. Then notice of what happens in your life. You'll probably really like the results. Beautiful things happen when you distance yourself from negative-ish. It's like, okay. Okay. We got this. We got this up in here, up in here, because that's what we do. Once you start laughing, you start healing. People have been trying to clown me out on my clown shit since I'm little. <laughs> I'm still little, but whatever. You get what I'm saying? Like, um, since young, they used to try to make me feel like a clown. Even my, my supposed friends, they tried to clown me out. 
humiliation has been one fucking roller coaster ride after another. And and and, and mind you, when I by the time I got to the friends, they missed the fucking boat of when it was my family first to humiliate me. It seemed to be something that was like um a necessary component to humble my ass or something. If you if if you've been tapped in, turned on, tuned in with me for a while, go to that kneeling story that I shared once upon a time ago. I don't know what video that's in. That's why I say watch all my videos. My father with the kneeling punishment. Craziness. Anyways, right? Once you start laughing, you start healing. And I'm so thankful for my humor. I really am. Use this as a power affirmation activation for yourself. Like, I am so grateful for the humor that I have to laugh at this nonsense of life that could beat me down. But guess what? It fucking ain't. I laugh at this bullshit. I laugh at the audacity that people have to projectile vomit onto me like, whoa. Don't they know the load that they're going to unload into themselves? It's a heart of compassion that I have that I don't rip you a new fucking asshole, right? So if you aren't ready to laugh at what's going on, then laugh at something else, <laughs> which is true, right? You got to apply that which you know. This is wisdom, right? Like you can learn a lot of shit, but until you apply that, what you got? Nothing nothing right so the internet is filled with ridiculous shit laugh at that or call up your best friend who who you trust to make fun of your problems in that loving brutal way they do just start laughing you don't have anything to lose and that's another thing right we think that we be in, incompatible or we think we are so weird or we're such an oddball or we're so different that has been my cry right like so if you tapped and turned on tuned in with me you that might be your cry too like feeling so like alone, <laughs> like meeting so many barriers. And, and it's not like you've been um, like, what's the word? Sheltered. Like you've met all walks of life from every kind of eco department, physiological department, freaking economic department, every single kind of fucking department of chapter of type of um, hierarchy system of type of person type of people or society you've met them all oh not like so like I'm talking about all oh, you could be a regular like what it feel like a regular fucking civilian and have met them all I'm talking about wealthy healthy stealthy blue all kinds of colored all kinds of brackets of income all kinds of celebrity sat status you've met them and you feel like a fucking alien you may be a them seriously it be like that here and amongst your your even your population of whatever society you fall into you 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 the unique you the 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 only one <laughs> the only one of that kind that's what i'm talking to up in here too that one of a kind you the one of a kind and you're one of a kind in your world of sphere of existence of electromagneticisms that is a uniqueism that is unlike any fucking body so when you and i meet in our uniqueism there's nobody like us like that like that <laughs> and i even heard it and even in my mind like that 144,000 that they be talking about in the bible and all this kind of stuff even though you can go into a physiological and a whole fucking scientific other kind of like spiritual science kind of um depth into that and we're not going into all of that kind of that but just for the superficial basis of the super fat superficiality of um of spirituality here in this wokeism nations that people be thinking they they awoke to 
<laughs> they still go real superficial in their fucking concepts, meanings, and understandings, right? Let's go into our energy of an understanding, right? But on some superficial shit, that's a number you can just correlate to, relate to in terms of the uniqueness of the you. Since people like to do labels, numbers, and all this kind of stuff, and all that kind of stuff, but 144 too. And then just think about the number zero. People be forgetting. People be like, one, 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 one. Nobody ever wants five 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 five. <laughs> it's like the tower card in the tarot. Hey, it's just like no, blah, blah, blah. I embrace that shit, right? But either way, zero 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 zero. Well, you know about that portal divination, portal hole, right? Bringing forward to you what something psh, 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 through the numbers is the numbers, but the zero is the portal. Zero. What you know about your zeros? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get up in order in that, right? Right. And two, this is another important information. In order to love who you are, you can't hate the experience that shaped you. We can still get emotional, like. Like, so, like, I speak with emotion. I'm not affected by that which I've healed from. So even though I might speak very passionately and emotion-filled, I, I then I'll just relate that to, like, my astrological composites, like my Piscean moon and or, or the parts of my astrological configuration that make me as dramatic as can be to be so um, um, expressive in the way that I am as poetic and dramatic and you know all that kind of stuff like that's that's just part of my composite like I don't know how to be um monotone and I don't know how to be non-passionate when I speak I don't know how to not tear up when I, something's emotional that evokes emotion within me I don't know how to turn that valve off but what I do know is a separation of being so personally infused in something and personally expressive in something. And those are two different places to be. Like I could be so infused in all that kind of dramatics expressions and all that kind of stuff, but not be so invoked in the like the, so let's say if I'm reading a poem from the past that I wrote that might be dark or, um, you know, um, from a from a space that I no longer pertains to me but let's say I read it and I read it with emotion I'm not in that emotion very conscious of that too so even though it might invoke a powerful expression of a response so let's say I still tear up or when whatever um it's important to note the difference of being in a space and being not in that place and just being an expressive um feeling being like you know what I mean like so know that difference and you might be growing into that like you know learning to accept your variety of multifaceted and quantum infinite growing multiple personalities that you might have that all of it is you right like all of it is you like don't deny any aspect of the you that is the you because you're beautiful too. So like when people try to shun their ego or shun their their shadow side and because they're they're labeling things good and bad, that's part of the conditioning. You got to rid yourself of that shit too because it's just like, okay, okay. I've rid, I've rid myself of this shit because you know why? It doesn't serve my greatest good. All these little aspects of my my dark, my light, my this, my that. When I'm angry, this is the way I respond. Like you know, getting to know the 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 behavioral pattern and the honest you. Like you know, and these parts of ourselves. This is deep in this well, and you know, we live to tell. Like so, you are a quantum well that lives to tell. And there's so many multifaceted this multiple depths to you there's infinite depths to you you're intradimensional you're multi-dimensional you're quantum dimensional dimensional you're you're all these wonderful um beautiful beautiful um intricate drips of a drop of an ocean right and so um you can't you can't hate on any aspect of yourself even if it was ugly, there's always going to be ugly in the pretty. 
So it's important to let that go too. So although these messages are timeless, the energy is still interchange. It's 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 intermingling with you from whenever you find yourself here. And right now we got these crystal waters with this Piscean energy washing away. Right, we're washing. You're here. This is a wash for you. This is a cleanse for you. This is a purification for you. This is a cleansing moment, a sacred divine interaction happening between you and I and the divine and you and 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 the divine, the you that is divine, the divine that is you, the intermingling of all of this too, and the focus and the purpose and the way that we are exchanging that and we're trans. We're, we're transcribing this this is this is healing flow this is a washing of your mind body heart and soul right intergalactic this i know that this is so interdimensional and that which is invoked here is transcribed here is transforming here it is it is powerful we are powerful this is a powerful energy exchange May you receive it quantifiably in every kind of way that is dope-tastic for you in that kind of way. Either way, right? So you got to get out of your own way. You can't be mad at the people in your life still hung up on that which they've done or you feel that they've done and think that you can move on powerfully with still these hang-ups. So that's what kind of like I'm hearing too. So all right, all right, shit hit the fan shit was fucked up shit was this shit was that oh this person never got theirs you the energy spent on that is already it's like it's 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 run out like let that shit go let it go so this is a wash a cleanse right here we go wash and a cleanse Hmm. Yeah, we need to wash and cleanse. Hmm. Humming. Humming is excellent for your soul whole journey. May you use humming as a tool. Definitely do sign up and subscribe to at enchantress e-n-c-h-a-n-t-r-e-s-s on instagram for just 99 cents because there's going to be so many wonderful little ceremonies and things that you're going to really enjoy that is shared exclusively over there that you get to diy yourself right you know what i'm saying and full alchemize and align where I share a lot of different things that you can do yourself. I'm really big on that, what you can do for yourself. I don't want your energy to be codependent upon my energy because you are a powerful being. How does that serve you if I don't allow you to serve yourself in honorable ways? And so that's why each of us are unique and we bring something different to each of our tables. And you find the tables that you love to eat from. This is why we get to share in each other's um, wisdoms and journeys and things like that. Right? You find those who really resonate from a heart-centered space. If your mind gets in the way and doesn't allow you to enjoy or acknowledge or be here, then bye. That's your stupidity. You know what I mean? Like, why would I cry for a deny that you deny yourself? That shit ain't right. I wish you well and I wish you less stupidity. But for those of you that are able to open up and allow for this heart transmission, transformation, this healing space to really take place and you can also use the platforms that are free um and take with that as you will because it is a powerful energy energy exchange right but i'm just saying um you can go even deeper because i'm a keeper i'm your muse <laughs> 
And also, you can go to witchyutopian.com and subscribe to your own personalized Muse in a Box experience. It's mm, mm, good. Right? These are my little mini personal adverts because if why not? I love that which I do and do that which I love. And the fact that I get to create these powerful Muse in a Box subscriptions for those that subscribe and ship it out to you every single month, every um, depending upon when you place your order, it will either ship out the 4th or the 25th of the month. Why did I choose those dates? Because I was born on a day four and my daughter was born on a day 25. And I just felt like, you know, our polarities right there met at a, a nice little ending and starting point time in the beginning of the month. And at the end of the month, giving people the option of whenever it is that they subscribe to have either one of those dates when I ship out to them, their Muse in a Box um, experience, which has handcrafted one of a kind goods, along with um, one of a kind two um, hand, um, handpicked stuff and notes and um, channelings and oracles and personalizations and different things that you'll get every single month that is unique onto you because that is the energy that I'm connecting with too I'm creating every single box so it's not like this is a manufactured box or whatever it's like no it's um I make them as you come in you know what I mean and it's personalization and that's how we be um using the box um friends you know what I mean so either way um yeah it's it's a really great experience and the re warm response that I'm receiving receiving from those that do receive um it's pretty cool it's something that I started um this 2023 I'm always coming up every year with something different for my witchyutopian.com um and so this was where I was inspired because I love the holiday box experience and from the holiday box experience that I had for the holiday season um the mystery and because you know everything in in my shop is a mystery because it's all one of a kind and once you place your order yours is created and no one will ever have anything that which you have here created that's one of a kind just for you and the ingredients are potent as fudge and um powerful too and there's a story behind that too that you can go check out at the witchyutopian.com blog which talks about all the ingredients and why these are masterful alchemical, alchemical um, infused um, potencies that is very interesting to learn about too. You know what I'm saying? So there's just a well of um, so much that you can have um, that you can subscribe to like for 99 cents or to um, follow and subscribe all my social media platforms that are free. You know what I mean? And here, even on YouTube land, Enchantress the Babbler, that is I, there is over 2,000 legacy videos up in here um part of my journey has been never to delete i am who i am my journey has been documented and in the way that i come on here is unique i'm not like uh, other people here on youtube which has made me least popular you know i don't trend on here um it was never that kind of journey um which is, you know, but there is a lot of people that do come on here that do trend and they do use a lot of my type of concepts and ideas all of a sudden their channel change and start talking like, you know, they stumbled upon my channel, just act like they don't, but um, whatever, it is what it is at the end of the day, it's not why I'm here, so you have different missions, my dear, right, so in order to love who you are, you can't hate the experiences that shaped you. Anything truly cool about you is created from the life you've lived. Remember that when you start to wind down the, sh the shame spiral, no time is wasted, no love is wasted, no tears are wasted, no breath is wasted. You, be you being you is important and every single thing that makes you is of value. Tell shame to suck it. And tell those people too to suck it. What was that one? My favorite one was the first card. Which is your favorite card so far for today? Um, mine so far is the first one that popped out. <laughs> Dance like everyone else can go fuck themselves. And this is just my own personal dance journey, you know, because I'm not a professional dancer and stuff like that. And just how hindered and how, um, you know, you never realize the the amounts of conditioning and behavioral patterns that 
um, and self-sabotage that we have to rid our own selves of that prevent us from being free or feeling free and how um, so much of our own conditioning and, and experience can really make us feel like a shell of our own existence and cause us to not want to be seen in some kind of lost way that's distorted and it's a lie you know what I mean because who doesn't want to feel validated or alive but you know the inner journey that we end up going in like in the labyrinth you know what I mean um it it it, it, it if we travel it it's quite um empowering and inner empowering right the moment you start acting like life is a bless up I don't like using blessing because you take away the be its blessing so life is a bless up it starts feeling like one get grateful uh-huh yeah so grateful get grateful get grateful if you're looking for answers the easiest fix to any problem is to start with gratitude yeah absolutely right look around and name something that's awesome you're awesome <laughs> i'm awesome we're awesome right look around and name something that's awesome do you have a truly amazing cat i have three cats y'all how many cats do you have <laughs> fuck yeah right? i had three amazing little wow like my cats are crazy <laughs> what's awesome about that cat well my ebony since you asked right she i found her she was literally you see how my hands are small and all this kind of stuff she was smaller than my hands she was when we took her to the vet um they said that they were she was the smallest cat in all their years of practice that they've ever seen be brought to a vet because when I found her she was literally on the brink of death death this is my tuxedo cat that has a heart on her face which I always say she was meant for me because I have a heart on my shoulder and if you look at my cat's nose and then if you also if you look at her nose to her mouth it's a heart and if you look at her also if she's sitting straight and looking at you her nose to her heart extends into her chest so she has a heart nose into her chest too but if you if you, if you look at her and just her face and you don't see her chest, you still see the heart. She has a heart face. But if you look at her straight too, she has a heart all the way into like, it's it's absolutely beautiful anyways. But she was smaller than her head and she still had even blue eyes. Because did you know, like this is just a little side note about cats. I don't know if you know this about cats, but I believe that all cats, when they're born, they're all born with blue eyes. So when we found Ebony Moon, she still had her blue eyes. She has green eyes now. But this is, I just want to show you how young she was. She was literally on the brink of death. She had gnats on her. Um, it was pouring rain. It was late at night. I was waiting to cross the street. I had food in my arms um, because I had picked up food from this Portuguese um, restaurant. And my daughter was in the car um, waiting for me with our dogs. And at, from the corner of my eye I see this little it could have been a rat it could have been anything and I didn't really get a good glimpse of what it was all I saw was this little thing with her head held up high walking into oncoming traffic two-way straight mind you I'm waiting for this traffic to pass so that I can safely cross and she's like a car or two down I don't know um in the like the middle of the street and all I see from my peripheral like from my corner of my eye I see this little thing stretching into oncoming traffic and I'm like what are you doing and I don't know I just like scooped down so fast I don't know how I got to her so quick and I scooped down lifted her up and held her in my hand and I held her up I was like who's and, and intuitively I knew it was a cat it's just so funny because I'm just saying that when I talk about the story and things like that I talk about um how um it could have been anything but it was just so fast it happened so quick and I'm like whose cat is this obviously nobody's cat right um and literally and that's how I got her and up until that point we believed my daughter to have been deathly allergic to cats because when my sister had cats when my daughter was young my daughter looked like she was in a ring with Mike Tyson and it's just like oh that's a shame so that's why I had never gotten a cat because I thought my daughter was deathly allergic to all cats but that's not true we have three cats and obviously my daughter's not deathly allergic but either way um I guess it's just in the maintain and care and how you um care for animals and stuff like that so um but 
yeah so that's my story with the ebony moon the other two we can talk about at another time i don't want to like make this all about my cats but that was just my story with the ebony moon so you could definitely go see her I, I post my animals too i post my wildlife in um interactions as well and wildlife videos and um and on my subscription platform i talk more about my own personal um spiritual experience with um animals i work very closely with the spirit animal kingdom and also with um real life animals both pets and wildlife as well as i share um some of those videos and stuff like that like i i'm very deeply drawn into animal mysticism and um i feel very deeply connected with animals and um that's just part of my journey and if you um do subscribe to my youtube and follow and all this kind of you see that for yourself like when i do share a lot of my engagement with um even the wildlife that come and visit me and stuff like that and just my draw to it i just absolutely love animals and i love working with them and so and they love i just i love them <laughs> i get excited i get excited look at because you are the product of what you believe damn skippy but i was looking at this one grab life by the balls and make it your bitch okay grab life by the balls and make it your bitch sometimes life is just waiting for you to meet it with the same level of energy it's been stomping you with right and when that's the case sometimes you just need to get all alpha dog on it oh my goodness so yesterday yesterday talking about animals and all this kind of stuff I, I didn't record I didn't um do anything like that like I just was in my zone and not everything needs to be recorded not everything needs to be shared but I have recorded and I have shared um, my time with the wolves um, and stuff like that. So you can look at a previous like less than a month ago video, I guess I posted that I shared with one of my times spending time with the, the wolves. So I got to meet two new new wolves yesterday. So I met all 10 of them and stuff like that. And I just had such a, uh, a very like... Um, wonderful experience and so the owner of the walls um we were all like um I was there and stuff like that anyways um the the owner of the walls um like I finally got to meet and stuff like that and um and just a wonderful person one and two like he couldn't believe how especially one of the the because there's also a German shepherd there um, but that German Shepherd is um, the mother to two half wolves and stuff like that, too. But also very mean, like very territorial, very protective, not so much mean, but that it's vicious. It, it'll appear vicious to you. Like when, if you like anytime anybody else comes around and all this kind of stuff like that, the goes ballistic. Like don't come up near the gate, don't whatever, blah, 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 blah. Like it's worse than the wolves. Like you would think you would be afraid of the wolves, but it's the German shepherd that's acting all crazy. Like, you know, that type of stuff. So anyways, the owner was talking about like He's like, wow, she really does like you you like <laughs> so it's just like you know anyways um I could cry <laughs> but I'm just saying like you know um your connection with your connections whatever those connections might be um you it could be children too like you know what I mean like I work with children I teach children's yoga and the kids I'm the favorite of the yoga teachers like the kids absolutely love working with me like I and and the the fact that um, I get to leave such a an impression on them in so early on in their lives, right? Because this is an impression. This is their 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 early adolescence into their their their, their growing, and and I'm getting them as young as one years old, right? One, two, three, four, five years old, like six, seven, eight. Like here we go, and this is great. Like this is the most impressionable of an age you can get to have on um our youth um in such a dynamic powerful way such as yoga and fun and joy and um help helping them to develop healthy um coping mechanisms right that they get to carry with them into their adult years like anyways that's just something else like but um so you but you that's here right even though I'm talking about me that's here right um you that's here you are impressionable you are powerful you are liked in realms so you it, it might be 
a challenge to deal like I always say that too because I'll be like real great with kids and all this kind of stuff but sometimes like you know you meet like like (laughs) the adults that have to manage the kids and if they're not in a good place what can be so great about what you do can turn into that power dynamic too. Like I've even like, you know, like you, you can have a a teacher that is just hating on you because the kids like you, they got to deal with the kids all day. And, um, and all the other teachers like you and this one fucking teacher is just like you know a crab in a bucket kind of thing like you know you're always gonna like sometimes it's gonna be like that right um but you're impressionable you 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 make people feel things like the 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 importance of you is felt like you get what I'm saying like like when I come into a school that I've already started teaching and I've been there for a while the kids when I walk in it's like going to a concert they're excited to see me they're all like you know jumping and this and that and those those little piglets are the ones that got me with the flu (laughs) right I usually am very protected too I um haven't gotten sick in years and I teach for years okay so I've been good even through that whole um you know whatever Ovid like stuff right I didn't get that shit I gotta hear with that bullshit right but the flu (laughs) so right anyways um right so wait we're we finishing so sometimes life is just waiting for you to meet it with the same level of energy it's been stomping you with right it's like oh it wasn't it wasn't your video it was the a video to my subscribers I was talking about that about that life sometimes can push you and then, you know, it's not for you to sit down at that. It's to push back. Like, you know what I mean? So definitely go um, subscribe to my Instagram at Enchantress, E-N-C-H-A-N-T-R-E-S-S. Because I do exclusive videos shared nowhere else. Just for you. Um, seriously. And you get to ask an oracle question, a tarot question once a month on my platform right like how cool is that they don't get carried over like it's not like you get to accumulate them if you don't use them in a month you lose them like if you don't use it you lose it you know what I mean and let them know that too right don't be cute you're not accumulating shit up in here it's 99 cents the platform like that's as good as it gets right there right (laughs) like like what you thought you was gonna accumulate them in a bucket and then come with me like a paragraph like for 99 no 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 (laughs) you don't use it you lose it right every month though you get the opportunity to submit a question and it's going to be responded to anonymously because i respect your privacy right i'm big on privacy i don't want people knowing nothing about that which i do and if you learn about anything that which i do trust me you're learning at at a much later 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 time like it's never of the time of like you don't know my present day nada like you know what I'm saying so even with the flu stuff like the video when I was sick and all this kind of stuff like by the time it aired that's long gone you get what I'm saying like so it's just like timing like timing is important um for me and stuff like that and my and just having privacy in that kind of that degree and way because um people will like try to ruin your day I've learned that. I've learned that. I talk about this kind of stuff. I get real up close and personal on my Instagram with my subscribers because I just feel like the token of exchange, even though it's just, oh, it's just 99 cents. Like you get way, 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 way more. You're getting a, a quantum bang for your buck. Like seriously. And the fact that I, I feel like I'm giving so much more. And so like, you know, let's like say date, I go a couple of days where I don't post. I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad for that, which I, when I don't post or when I don't come on and all this kind of stuff, because I'm giving you way more like that quantum bang for your buck, like that kind of shit. So I, I feel very um satisfied with how much I give, which is a lot, right? For just that price, like, psh, 
what oh my gosh like it's dope as fudge so that's just where I'm at with that and I feel really good I feel really good because I, I don't feel the pressure to have to conform like oh my god I gotta go and post there too and well like it doesn't feel like a, a do like a like a chore like fuck out of here nothing should feel like that if you're not enjoying that what you're doing then you need to take a step back okay take a step back and really um look at this from a different from a different perspective like what is it that you're not seeing about something so that you can see a little bit infinitely more into its existence or just breathe in your space right so you are a product of what you believe if you think you're a turd, you're probably going to act like a turd. <laughs> Treat yourself like a turd and accept turd treatment from others. Why the fudge would you do that? First off, you're not a turd. It's just physically impossible to be a turd and a sentient being at the same time. But even if you have been kind of turdy, <laughs> you believing you're golden will bring on all that golden behavior and that golden treatment. So today, just believe that you're golden. If you if you liked it better there, go back to Turd Town tomorrow, right? So yeah. So from what I just received right here, like some sometimes things happen, right? Sometimes things happen. There's like ah, that's shitty. Like I thought about that like too with the flu. Like I can get down. Like I'm like yo, dude, you haven't been sick in years. But I, what am I immune to everything? Like you get what I'm saying? Like it's the time. Sometimes you're just gonna get like a cold or sick or whatever. But I was like really like because I, I I'm proud of how I self care, right? So sometimes you can be so proud of how far you come, and then bam, disaster, or bam, you get sick, or bam, some shit goes down. And it's like damn like you know what I mean and it's just like bam like fudge like you know what I'm saying and so like don't let that get you down don't let that get you down right because um like rise above <laughs> rise above your own fuckheadedness that's all right rise above your own fuckheadedness we're all fuckheads in our own way and the trick to winning at life is developing the ability to identify our own flavor of fuckheadedness and then rise above it, right? What one little thing can you do different-ish and better-ish today, you beautiful fuckhead you, right? <laughs> so, so, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, so allow, like, you know, if something, like, look at, exhale that bullshit, right? Yeah, period. Go back to that, right? So let's say something like everything could be going good and you know some shit see but look at that's a mindset right there too right that's a mindset right there you might catch yourself saying shit like um like not looking forward or always looking skeptically at when things are going good because right away shit can go south right when you thought shit was good and so you might have that mentality like you might have that mentality like oh I knew that some shit was gonna go down because shit was going so good right so it's like that that's self-sabotage and that's like did that really go down was that really reality or did that make manifest through your own subconscious roots of that which you pollute into your own environment so of course it's going to go down like that it's like it's predictive behavior so it's like it's like being able to be studied right like let's lock that kind of mindset in a room for a week you would have predictive behaviors like you would be able to be um you would be able to be observed and your behavior would be able to be predictable right so because of the mindset that you create right so the experience is going to be that which you create and sometimes in our subconscious right sometimes in our subconscious um what we don't realize is how it rules the act on the on on the superficial level 
So even if the superficial level is not conscious to the subconscious, it's still acting in favor of that which is subconscious. I hope that makes sense. Right? So you're still acting out the subconscious belief in your superficial act, whether you realize it or not. Right? So, so the mindset is important. That was another thing I was talking about. Um, I was talking about it here on YouTube and I also was talking about it with my subscribers about how we master our mind, right? I think it was the last two videos or three videos that got posted. I don't remember which one, but it was talking about mastering the mind, mastering the mind for your own success. Like in order to achieve that which you want to be successful in, you got to master your mind, right? And, and and it's also, it's not for you to get defensive. It's for you to, all right, exhale that bullshit. It's like, listen, it's just, it is what it is. Not everything that triggers you is 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 bad for you. It's, it's for your growth. A trigger is a trigger because it, 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 it's triggering the unhealthy aspects of yourself to be brought to the surface so that's good for you so a trigger is good see that there goes another mindset shift stop looking at triggers like bad thing i look at a trigger as a good thing even if it's coming from a person that i ain't fucking with you right because it is what it is at the end of the day so mindset is very important here about what you are creating and how you are looking at something because not everything is avoidable. Like it's like things are just, it is what it is. It's like saying, oh, I've been on such my great self-care. I'm never going to age. What? That's part of the human condition and alignment and science of life and all this kind of stuff. It's a natural aging progression. Like we, we're all going to die. <laughs> How we die is going to be different for everybody. When we die, that's going to be different for everybody. Right? So, so it's like accepting the realities of certain kind of truths and stuff like that and finding your remedy, your elixir, your ingredient, your flavoring to every single kind of equation, right? So today's practice, the ancient meditation technique of inhaling the good shit and exhaling exhaling the bullshit. Think of good shit like puppies and pandas and pineapple. I love pineapple. But oh my gosh. So I don't know if anybody else, I don't know where you are from and all this kind of stuff, but like the lately the pineapples I've been getting um Mm -mm, not so good and they look good so I'm like what are you putting in my pineapples like I don't know I just I had to share that like anybody else like if you like I guess you know I'm gonna have to whatever like because sometimes you know supermarkets are not good for you and you should go to you know those farmers markets and things like that if you have that near you but I'm gonna check the pineapple situation with the farmers because um in the supermarket they're bad they haven't been good and I love pineapples and I don't care and I've been and I picked the best looking freaking pineapple I know how to shop a pineapple <laughs> because of how much I love pineapples okay I'm just sharing over sharing but um they have not been good so I don't know where you're from and if you want to share but if you eat pineapples and you love it out there too have your pineapples been tasting the same because ours has been different anyways okay Okay, think of things that don't start with the letter P. Breathe. That didn't like it sparkles. Exhale bullshit stuff like anxiety, self-doubt, and resentment. Let it leave your body like dust being cleared out. It works. At the very least, you'll have an idea about what stuff you like and what stuff to dump on your therapist. Exhale that bullshit. Look at that. For whoever needs to hear that, worrying is a negative prayer. If you worry, don't pray. Because just change pray to P R E Y. It's the same thing, anyways. I don't like using the word prayer. 
as I think of pray. So it doesn't matter how we spell it. It's still in the same energy vortex of pray. You know what I mean? Anyways, I am an etymologist whore. <laughs> Welcome to Enchantress the Beller. That is me. And my mind goes through many different levelings. <laughs> so anyways, and etymology is one of my favorite past the fucking time with kind of things to do. So yeah, welcome. Welcome to life. Right. So I hope that you enjoyed these messages. I don't know. And I. Right, not giving a fuck is better than revenge. I don't know who would waste their time on revenge. Now, I have been, I've taken bites with spite with my words, which is, which I cannot understand, but it's never been in revenge. It's just, yo, I got a slick tongue. It's a long time to curb and use with discernment and wisdom. That if you think I got nothing to say, trust that even if I don't say, there's always something I can say. Right? So I don't look at that like a revengeful. I don't look at slick tongues like revengeful. You're just intelligent. Like if you got a slick tongue, you just slick with that mouth and that's cute. I think that's a powerful weapon. Right? Our tongues are powerful weapons. Right? Especially when you know you know exactly what to say that would set things straight. And then we got to get out of our own ego kind of way. And we got to just learn to deliberate that sometimes is best left on fucking sad, right? It's just like, don't. <laughs> no, no. Stop it. <laughs> I'll be like, I'm, bitch, I know how to shut that shit down real quick. All I got to tell you is the truth. <laughs> there we go, right? But spite be biting. And if you're going to act in spite, you shouldn't be biting. You know what I'm saying? Until you get to past that point too, where it's just it is what it is, and you say it naturally, so without offense or whatever. It's just that's it. I'm the deliverer of that truth. You thought you was never gonna receive, but guess what? We're speeding up your evolution. You know what I mean? Thank you for going that step too far, and you got exactly what you asked for. Growth, okay? So either way. But there's people out there that literally, like, think of things that they can do to get people back for something. And whether the person deserves it or not, that's not what we were talking about. Is that somebody makes somebody feel a certain type of way and somebody now wants to react in that kind of way. Right? That's like with this whole, like, celebrity thing, like, with the whole Selena Gomez and um Kylie Jenner mean girl type shit and Hailey Bieber type I don't I don't know what's going on I'm not gonna pretend to know what's going on I'm not gonna pull cards to find out what's going on I don't really care what's going on I just know what I energetically feel from the whole topic of discussion and I just know where I stand <laughs> I don't like none of that mean girl shit and I don't like none of that petty betty shit um and but I see the cowardice like, yo, how are you going to try to play somebody? This is where I go in my mentality. And maybe this is because I'm from they, they, they Saturn and Jupiter and Neptune and Pluto and all of them motherfuckers. They drop me off in Brooklyn. So Brooklyn be my zone, right? And I don't know. I just blunt be my wave. And that could be the Sagittarius 2 part in me. Like, I don't know. I don't punk. Don't be my wave. Like, if, especially if I'm going to incite some kind of riot or some kind of wave, I'm going to stand up and I'm going to hold myself accountable accountable for that which I say so I never never um I'm going to like respect or like look at somebody the same again if they do some punk shit like they say some slick shit with their tongue and then they get cold out on it and then they play that punk vibe like no that's not what I mean and what you mean and all like for me that's like straight like what like I don't even want to before back in the day Maybe you would have got a re different response from me. Like, you would have been called out. You would have been called out on that kind of bullshit. Like, look at you being a punk. Like, I, I now I call you out on that, what you say. Now you got nothing to say. Like, I don't understand that kind of language. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. But I, I get the little, um, the little indirects. Like, don't play, right? Don't play. Don't play where you don't know how to play, right? Because when you take it that way, this is a different kind of riot. You want to, like, s set the savage free. Like, you know what I mean? Or some kind of thing. Um, 
hello, where are we going with all those kind of things? I don't know, but somewhere. But like, yeah, like with that whole thing, like, and then like clearly what you try to do was try to play somebody and like be mean. And then when you got called out on it, you played that punk vibe shit. Like, no, that's how I never, I didn't even see that post. So for me, it's like pointless. Like, don't even engage because don't even engage because that person that is being the punk is a punk. And we don't play with punks. Like, let that person be the punk that they are. Goodbye. Like, I don't even got time to waste on you. That's how I feel about shit like that. Like, that's where I'm at kind of with that. I So I made a funny meme because that's how you do. That's how you, when you, when something triggers you to think like, like, the only reason why I even got triggered in a thought to think in that kind of way is because that's what you did. And so you brought that into the atmosphere of being able to be seen. And so now I observe and now I formulate, right? Because I'm intelligent and I can do that. I can think for myself and I can see that which it is and I can whatever, feel the way that I feel. And so um, I want to transmute that energy for real. So I made a funny meme and that funny meme was the look. I found a a, a picture of um Kylie Jenner um making like a stupid like face, like 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 one that looks like Twiddle D and Twiddle Dumb, like didn't know which way to fucking go type, which way did it go, George type of thing. And um and wrote some shit. <laughs> I don't know. And that just transmuted it for me. And that was just it. I posted that. You can always check my community board here on Enchantress the Babbler. I do post memes that I create myself and also that I share from other people that share because I like funny stuff. Humor is one of my go-to tools for transmutation and I use it actively daily on the regularly and that's just the way that it be and humor be my wave. And so I'm big on humor. Doesn't mean that your humor and my humor are going to get along. And it doesn't mean that I care to explain my humor either. If you don't like it, you can hop the fudgety off. You know what I'm saying? So it'd be like that, right? So so anyways, I'm not with this kind of revenge kind of shit. So I'm never going to be cool with that period as from my human perspective I ain't with people that are petty buddies and revengeful that you can seriously grow the fudge up but anyway so but people be like that and I, this is a 50 50 place where people come right so I got all kinds of energies up here so if you be with this kind of revenge shit looks on right the fact that you're here shows me that you have evolutionary growth and so that there's potential for you it doesn't mean I fudge with potential it doesn't mean that you're going to reach your potential and doesn't mean that you're going to act in your most highest of potentials it doesn't mean any of that I'm not assuming that this is as general as can be but I'm just saying personally like for those of you that tapping and turning on tuning room with me I ain't with none of this kind of stuff I don't I don't don't do this kind of stuff I don't think in this kind of way I don't operate in this kind of way I don't even I don't think in this kind of way so like please like I if you anybody ever thinks oh my god I'm wasting time thinking about ways that I can get them back or make them feel or do this kind of thing for real like you're wasting your own energy for real and you're revealing unto yourself that which you are right which is what you're about so um either way I'm just not with that but let's read the back of this anyways revenge sucks just watch a superhero movie and look at the villains. They Those guys suck. Revenge is whack and petty and gives you wrinkles. <laughs> I just keep this. You see what I mean? You can just speak truth and whatever the case may be. And that's it. And if people don't like it, oh, well, get out of that energy. You know what I'm saying? But you know what's hot? Being the bigger person and letting shit go. Hair flip that shit, honey, and move the fudge on. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. And that's what Selena's doing. <laughs> Even if she might say hair flip that shit and might like, you know, it's 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 only it's only no no human, no matter what their status is, celebrity status is and all this kind of stuff, wants to be treated by shitty by mean people. And I and this is me coming from a compassionate perspective because I got mean people that treat me mean or how or have, especially here on social media land, because I'm not with the same dynamics because I've, I, I, I go to the beat of my own drum. I'm not like everybody else. My channel is not the fucking same. And I don't use the same rule books as everybody else. And people be getting tight about that shit. It's always been like that for me. 
every company I've ever fucking worked for, the rules do not apply to me. And I don't care. And there used to be people pissed about that shit. Oh, fucking well, stay your fucking lane. The rules don't apply the same to me as they do to you. And that's just because I'm too into my own drum and that's it. And I ain't going to fucking settle, nor act apart, nor kiss no fucking ass, nor pretend to be something that I'm fucking not. And that's just how I rock out. That's just how I vibe. And that's just how I've always fucking been. And and with that, I've been met with loads of fucking resistance from other people that I'm like, who the fuck she thinks she is? I think I am who the fuck I say I am. When I am, whenever I am, wherever I am, I'm the same fucking person. I show up every fucking place as the same version of myself. And that comes with different moods, different shifts, different highs, different lows, okay? But no matter who shows up, it's always going to be me, right? So anyways, um, and so you like that too, for the, the variety of you that do tap in, turn on, tune in with I, right? The rules don't apply to you the same way that they apply to everybody else. And people be getting tight with that shit. Own that magic. They mad because the rules they hold on whatever like we don't even need to explain how that even flows and grows and all that kind of stuff because people be worrying about the work the the most stupidest of shit like why are you so worried about how i'm treated operated here or working here i do my job i do it the greatest right especially if you're doing that what you do and you're being the greatest of that what you do or you're operating from your best version of yourself there's going to be a lot of energies that are bothered by that. Oh, but the truth is the projection of all of that kind of stuff is that they're really bothered with their lack of their own self-effort and their own self-placement of wherever it is that they are in their life. And they're fucking comparing apples to oranges and they're fucking making themselves miserable. And now misery loves company. And they're trying to drag you the fuck along. Not happening here. It's not happening. <laughs> Stand back, I will fucking stab you with my crystal cord rose quartz. This one says rose quartz right up your ass. You can sit right on that one, okay? Sit on that. Sit on these points. Right that point. Hey, so yeah, it'll be like that. (laughs) Hey. It'll be like that. It'd be like that. All right. Alrighty. What else do we have before we start closing this out and saying our fuck what they think? We we're just gonna keep it to this one. Fuck what they think. Right. You might have if you have a social media presence and stuff like that, you might have people that have to even like teamed up and talk crap and I know that that's something that's common that they say here and I've seen it but now I understand it better because it'd be true it's like it'd be like a YouTube university right it's like a university of in crowd right that they get certain kind of like let's say privileges or perks and stuff like that and they all like find the in crowd and pick from the in crowd that which they want to um fudge with right so it's like the maturity level so depending upon your maturity level and all this kind of stuff will be your crew your clique and all this kind of stuff or whatever and then they do team up and they do take hits and diss and all this kind of stuff uh other fucking people especially those not in right and then they play like those mind fuck kind of games like because they know that either you watch their channel or whatever and they try to drill throw subs and all this kind of stuff but they'd be like that kylie jenner like punk ass shit right when you bring it to their face and surface it's like they gaslight you right so um and they act like they don't know who the fuck you are right but they want you to care what the fuck they think that'd be true but don't care what the fuck they think because what they think is the same like everybody else dead fish swim with the flow one of my favorite fucking quotes right i have many i have many so don't quote me on that saying oh my gosh that's her favorite quote because i got billions okay of favorite quotes <laughs> so put this card in your pocket and use it as your mantra for today all day and tomorrow too while you're at it fuck what they think fuck what they think fuck what they think all together now fuck what they think let freedom ring fuck what they think for the win 
Yeah. So let's 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 vibrate and energize and penetrate our systems with some. I want to pierce your skin. Can you let me cut you for a second, right? But let me pierce you with this crystal point, right? I want to pierce your skin, pierce through. I want to penetrate you with my crystal locks too. I love you. This song I'm making up right now as I sit here and point it to the sky to you. <laughs> what we do? I love you. Okay. Oh, okay, hold on. All right, so either way, um, let's see what the title of this is going to be today. Fuck what they think. Let's pick, we're picking up randoms, okay? What's the best that can happen? Right? What's the best that can happen? And not giving a fudge is better than revenge. All right, it's going to be one of these kind of things or a mix of that. So I forgot. I don't even know the title, right? So not giving a fudge is better than revenge. Oh, what was the other one? I met? Oh, I found it again. Yes, I said, oh, what was the other one? Dance like everyone else can go fuck themselves. Oh, my God, this is the title. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, but this is the title. This is the title. And then with a fuck what they think. This is the, what do you think? What do you think about the, the title of this video? Dance like everyone else can go fudge themselves. I'm not going to put the curse, but, you know, fudge themselves. Maybe we'll put a little flower or something for the you. <laughs> hey, um, fudge what they think. I love that. I love that. I love that. So I hope that these messages find you well and that you enjoyed it. Please be advised and note if this is the first time that you are here and you arrive. Ah, I arrived. Say hi. But also note that every day, every day, there is a daily upload here on my channel. Even if I post shorts and all this kind of stuff and other kind of videos and things like that, always check the community board too. But every day, 12, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, there is a new video uploaded on my YouTube channel. So you could always have something to look forward to. All of my videos are previously recorded at other dates. And so when you receive them, um, <clears throat> we're on to a new day. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, but there are daily updates, right, for you here on Enchantress the Babbler. Um, so definitely subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. I am going to, now that I'm feeling so much better, I'm going to be announcing the live party number two um, that we are going to have. So you can come celebrate with me. There's going to be giveaways, prizes, cash prizes too. Let me buy you a drink and all this kind of stuff. Live party number two. If you missed live party number one, you can go check that out on the playlist. There is a playlist area for you to also tap and turn on, tune into of my evolutionary blog um, and different titles, uh, enchanting music musicals 333s um you can um stay tuned for um more of these kind of things but um you definitely can go check out the playlist and watch the ones from previously before so that you can be up to date and be in through every portal door and understand um anything that i might reference from before and things like that um when you catch up and watch my videos i know many of my videos can be long but if you watch them in parts there's no excuse you know what I'm saying? So you can also listen to them while you drive, listen to them while you lay down, listen, you know, whatever. You don't have to watch. You can just listen. You know what I mean? Um, so rise above your fuckheadedness. Um, so your yeah, dance like, oh damn, I messed it up again. <laughs> I keep on tucking and then like I need to um I need to find that one. Ah! Oh, look at this. I like this one, too. Thou shall not judge because thou has fucked up before, too. Like, seriously. Like, seriously. Those people that want to be on their fucking high horses, okay? 
ah but yeah fuck out of here <laughs> Rise above your fuckheadedness. Fuck out of here, okay? Thou shalt not judge because thou has fucked up before too. And I gotta find that dancing one, right? So anyways, that's the title of this one and that's it. So what was I saying before that? <laughs> I don't even know. Um, But either way, thank you so much for tapping in to... um to my channel oh yeah the live parties that's what i was saying so yeah the live party is um in celebration because we are celebrating every thousand plus new subscribers i receive until we reach our ten thousand subscriber goal and so far we've been doing good and right now even live party number three is soon on its way and so <laughs> but we got to get to live party number two first so i owe you that one and now that i'm feeling better um i'm going to make plans accordingly and we'll announce so it's to be announced the date and time of the next live party that you should definitely be a part of whether anybody shows up or not i don't care I am going to show up and so that's what's out there and rad so either way it'll be uploaded whether the party I, if I party alone or if I party with others I don't care like I said I'm ready to party with myself because I'm so thankful I'm so thankful for reaching all these milestones and goals on here and so yeah that's pretty cool so that's all I have to say about that and so you can join me or you cannot or you can watch it later because it'll be in the playlist provided um so yeah so um that's it and we are out till next time remember every day check out our new daily uploads at 12 12 p.m eastern standard time